In the first question of this series where we find the local maximum and minimum and saddle points of a function, we're asked to find the local maximum or minimum and saddle points of the function f at x, y is equal to x cubed minus x, y plus y squared. To be successful here, you'll need to know the second derivative test for classifying critical points, which tells us that if the second partial derivative of the function is continuous, and we let d is equal to this square matrix, which is referred to as the Hessian matrix, finding the determinant of this will help us determine local minimum, maximum, and potential saddle points. Now we learned how to find the determinant of a square matrix and there's a trick to it. You take this element, multiply it to this element, and then subtract by the product of these two elements. And that's shown right here where you multiply this with that minus f sub xy, and this is a typo, this should read xy rather than yx, multiplying these two, which is represented as this to the power of two. So the first thing that we have to do is find the critical points and then we'll use this criteria to help us determine whether it's a local min or max. Let's go ahead and do that. We have the partial derivative with respect to x. For this equation is 3x squared minus y. We hold y's constant. This is held constant, so is this. That's why this becomes zero and taking the derivative of x is one. And we'll set this equal to zero to find the critical points. We'll do that in a moment, but the partial derivative with respect to y, that becomes zero, this becomes negative x, and that becomes plus two y. Set that equal to zero. Now we have a system of two equations and we need to solve this simultaneously. We can do that by taking this term over where we have two y is equal to x and then substituting the content of x into here. So we have three bracket two y to the power of two minus y is equal to zero. Let's solve for y. Distributing this exponent to these two factors, we get three times four times y squared minus y. As you can see, this is a quadratic and it's an incomplete quadratic, so it can be solved without the quadratic formula. All you have to do is factor it. So factoring out a y, we get y bracket three times four is 12, y minus one is equal to zero. We have y is equal to zero because we set y is equal to zero and then we set this equal to zero where we get y is equal to one over 12. Now we substitute these outputs into here and we should end up with the points zero and zero. That's if you substitute zero into here. And if you substitute one over 12 into here, you get one over six as your x coordinate and one over 12 as your y coordinate. So these are your critical points and just to be consistent with what's written here, the criteria, this is A and this is B. So your X coordinate and your Y coordinate are A and B respectively. What they're saying is if the determinant, which we haven't found yet, is greater than zero and F sub XX or the second partial derivative is greater than zero when you evaluate them at these two points, then F at AB is a local minimum. So we still have a lot of work here, and just to make things easy for us, I'm going to create a table that holds all of our information. The table will look like this, where I have the critical points, and we'll find out the sign when we substitute A and B into the determinant. We'll also find out the sign when we substitute that into F sub X, X at A and B, and our conclusion will be written in this column. So now, let's go ahead and find the determinant we need to find the second partial derivative. The first partial derivative with respect to x was this. The second partial derivative would be three times two, six. The second partial derivative here will be, this becomes zero and that becomes a two. And we also need to find the second partial derivative with respect to x and then with respect to y. So starting from here, we have this becoming zero and that becomes negative one. Now we'll substitute these into the formula right here. And of course we need to evaluate them at A and B. F sub X, X, we found to be six X. And F sub Y, Y happened to be a factor of two minus negative one raised to the power of two. We end up with 12 X minus one 
negative 1 to the power of 2 is positive, times negative is negative 1. And we evaluate this at the two critical points that we found 0 and 0 and a sixth and a twelfth. Starting with 0 and 0, substituting 0 into here we end up with negative. This is negative. Substituting 1 over 12 into here we get 2, 2 minus 1 is positive. Now let's substitute these critical points into f sub x x which we found to be 6x. So substituting 0 into 6x, we end up with 0. And substituting 1 over 6 into 6x, we end up with 1. That's greater than 0. So let's conclude. This is negative, and f at ab gives us an output that's equal to 0. Therefore, we have a saddle point. That's not written, but that's the case if it's inconclusive, technically. So I'll write down saddle point just for reference. Let's go to this row. This is positive and this is positive. Therefore, there's a local minimum at this point. What's also not written here as one of the conclusions is that if the determinant is equal to zero, then the test is inconclusive. And there you have it. That is how to find the local maximum or minimum and saddle points of a function.